do something larger than the individual um, uh, tenants in the, in the McLean building, but I think that that concept uh, uh, would be fine. And I, I don't think that we were sure exactly how the size requirements uh, worked or how you folks viewed them for um, uh, tenants of, uh, uh, of the property, but they have a sort of a high profile uh, 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 drive-by kind of uh, uh, business and, and, and we're hoping to uh, uh, be able to put something that, uh, that people could see from a, a further distance than, than what, say, a Habitat would need at the, at the Jared McLean house. Sure. So what, what I would be thinking towards, and obviously we would need to discuss this more officially, but just to give you some general guidance of, this is roughly what we had sketched out. This was a design donated to us by a town's member, and this takes the seal, and this is basically what's uh, historic in the district. And the idea was that the building name would then be followed by the tenants. Now, personally, and obviously we would need to discuss this in general, but my personal philosophy would be I would have no problem making this section larger so that it would be able to give the kind of signage you need, be able to include your logo. But I would still like to see if it's at all possible to have the upper section be this, that would say the David, the David David Tavern with the dates rather than something that would look different. But if you want, you know, again, we'd have to talk specific size. We don't have anything rigid, but if you needed something that, say, was this big rather than this big, I'm sure that's something that we could work towards. So would we uh, we'd be doing this uh, uh, same design in there as well? That would be the hope, because oh, yeah. cause we're, we're looking to do the same thing at the library. Uh, frankly, we were going to talk to you at some point about hopefully doing the same thing at the McLean House. The idea is to get it actually throughout the district. Um, could I ask you to move a little bit over that way? <laughs> we actually don't need it taped for this part of our meeting, but it is for the evening. Um, so I think that in general, we're on the same page. Thank you. But it's just a matter of finding a way to try and incorporate this design up top with what you need below. And um, what we could probably do is get either a photocopy of this or a copy of what we've got on disk get out to you, mm -hmm. and then maybe play with this a little bit further as we go along. But I don't see any problem. Okay, so great. I think that uh, that's that's something like that um, uh, can be incorporated both. We will take care of putting together the, the Damon Tavern portion of it. Uh, as well as theirs, and I'd like to do that at the Jared McLean house as well. Yeah. And see, that would be wonderful for us because that would enable us to begin to establish common signage, which has been our goal all along. Right. And once we've got a few of the private buildings taken care of, as well as a few of the public, it gives us a chance to push the rest of it to happen. Uh, so Tom, just very briefly, uh -huh. this was a proposal mm -hmm. that they had looked at for the tavern, and what mm -hmm. I suggested was we talk in terms of using the same design. This would say David Damon Tavern right. with the dates, and if they needed larger signage on the bottom uh -huh. to accommodate their logo yes, and what they right. need, that would work out fine. Mm -hmm. And they're willing to use the same design, mm -hmm. which I think will work very nicely for right. us in doing common signage. Oh, yes. So what I think would be good is, um, before the evening's out, there's a copy machine down the hall. We can make you a quick copy of this, at least as a way to get started. Maybe do another round of this and come to our next meeting, and we could actually try to get something finalized, unless anyone has any objections. Does that work for you? Great. That's great. That's, uh, that's what we were hoping exactly. for. Like Excellent. Yeah. So, um, uh, excuse me. Hello. The uh, Conservation uh, Commission has this room right there on Tuesday. Yeah, that, was, be right that was changed. I had spoken to the TA's office, and they said they were contacting the conservation to move you folks because we needed to be taped. That was a couple weeks ago. If they didn't contact you, I apologize. I don't know what room they moved you to. They didn't contact us, so we don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think you might be We're unfortunately going to be a long time. That's why I talked to them, and we needed to have part of our meeting taped. So I do apologize. I'll talk to the TA about it and try and make sure it doesn't happen again. But they assured me that someone would call you folks. I, I, I understand. I, I'm sorry. Okay. So getting back to the Jared McLean house. Please. So, uh, I, I wanted to come in and uh, speak to the commission. Uh,
because I'm, uh, I have hopes to um, uh, construct an addition uh, to the building. And I wasn't sure if you have um, specific criteria or regulations or guidelines um, that uh, you're looking to uh, uh, see on uh, for additions or for construction in the in the okay. district, and I wanted to um, if there's any uh, prepared material, I wanted to get that. If it's uh, uh, oral or discussion, I just wanted to get some feedback uh, uh, from the commission as to uh, uh, what things were were important, so that I can incorporate that into into our planning before we get started with an architect. Okay, first of all, I'll, let me explain to you kind of the process sure. of the paper. Please pull up a seat. I'm sorry. This is okay, so okay. Just Feel free to sit wherever. Um, the first thing is that the bylaws do govern the general process of how everything is going to work. And that is really general by design. We look at, we look at sight lines. We look at appropriate architecture. We look at appropriate materials, et cetera, et cetera, things that you would expect within a historic district. What has to happen is there needs to be an application. And these are available in which office, Pat? I always community forget. Planning. Thank you. Uh, available in the community planning office. And what would happen is you would be looking for a request for a certificate of appropriateness. And it's a basic one and a half page document that talks about the building and what you're trying to do, et cetera, et cetera. And then would include attached to that in whatever format you have design specs you know, kind of what the, the addition is proposed to be. As far as what we'd be looking towards, what I think would be good is to just give people a minute or two just to answer you individually with some general perspectives. In general, what we'd be looking for is something that's an appropriate addition to the building. And as you know, at least once in the past that has been done. So there's already some kind of general guidelines, if you will, of what, you know, what works and doesn't work. We certainly would want something that would still fit appropriately on the site and you know, it doesn't take up the entirety of the site, doesn't leave no open space. Those types of things are things that we would look at as well. Um, material is important, but it's also important kind of how it looks. We don't want something you know, garish that doesn't fit a completely different style. Those types of things. But let me actually it open up to people because I think you'll get a variety of opinions which might give you a good set of you know, direction. Um, Please. Bruce, I understand that the previous owner had uh, drawn up some plans to add on to that building. Are you yes, aware I of those? those? Sure. You have those. Yep, and I, uh, and I, I talked to Skip, who was the architect who uh -huh. drew them uh, as well. Um, I understand that they were more or less a duplication of what is already there. In other words, kind of a doubling of the building. Is that correct? Um, Size-wise, it probably was. It was a. Uh, it was. It was probably along those lines, mm -hmm. and it was uh, um, uh, the same style and uh, in in architecture uh, mm -hmm. as well. Um, have you given any thought at all <coughs> to uh, the possibility of uh, something that might resemble an outbuilding? But has, still but be not. connected, um, which... So the building doesn't become enormous so to the it eye? it doesn't become too much of a good thing. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, I'm, it's, this is just just a suggestion. Right. Um, Barbara Neely had mentioned that when I told her you were coming tonight, that, uh, yeah, well, that it might be something to explore. Yeah, she we'll has done that at her house. Oh, she has. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else like, like to? Carry challenge or else? I think the, the nice idea there is that it then wouldn't be one monolith. It would kind of look like it, you know had different purpose. So it'd look a little, a little better on the site. Well, you're bearing in mind that that that's what that site was originally made up of. I don't know if you've ever seen any of the postcards of the factory and house when it was no. in full swing. Oh, no, I, I, ha I will bring it by. I have them. Okay. It's yeah, very interesting. Lots perfect. of buildings. <laughs> really? Yes. So it gives us a chance to possibly make the site a little more historically correct, as it were. Oh, yeah. But if it gives you a way to get the space and the design that you need to get what you need done. Well, I'm, I'm very flexible with how we orchestrate the, the, the space. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it was, the space was part of the 
main building are separate. I don't think that, that that's critical um, uh, to us. I, you know, I, I really just want to get a good understanding of what's important and then and try to piece it together, do a sketch, and, uh, uh, and, and, then, and then get some more feedback. Um, so. Do you have a feeling of how much additional space you're looking for that you need? Um, I think that we're looking to do something uh, substantial, um, uh, but uh, um, I don't know if that's the right word, but not just one room, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Screen um, footage, do you have any idea? What I, I mean? don't think that we've really nailed that, nailed that down. <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, Would you be looking to build in the spring? Or um, later? I think sometime next year, I don't think that we've, that the spring might be too soon, but uh, um, sometime during 2002. Okay. So that gives us, the reason I was asking is that gives us a little time. Oh, yeah. I think In case something comes to us, we need to make some things with it. We're going to go through the process. How, you know, I don't think that I'm, uh, I was looking to establish a specific time frame because I, I, I figured we want to spend some time figuring out the best way to accomplish it. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, when we get there, then <coughs> we put a construction schedule together. Great. Joe, do you have anything you want to give us no, guidance? No, no, I'll probably say something. Tommy? Yes, actually I do. I think it's wonderful. I'm, I couldn't be more delighted that you're now the owner of the... Oh, I'm not the owner yet. Yeah, the owner. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Almost. Almost. Almost, yeah, almost the owner yet. We're pretty close. We're yeah, pretty close. A couple I more think things to... Uh, I think that's, I to think that's terribly exciting. I, the, I can't remember... Now, Pat, can you remember the the, the the date of the house is what? It's, 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 it's somewhere in the, like, in the 1820s or something like that. <laughs> And no, I think early. A little earlier, 18, 18 teens or something like that. Uh, it's a it's a good typical federal house that, however, has undergone a number of changes, both in the I guess in the 1880s and also sometime in the 1920s. And I think what you're doing represents an interesting opportunity to do some renovations to it in a very positive way, design-wise and also to make a, an addition where you're adding, increasing your total space by 100% or 50% or 25% and look very much in keeping and keeping with the center of town. I think what, what I would suggest would one that you could, if you, whatever you do, when you look at the building, you can still see, you can still get an idea of what the original size of the building was, so that you glance at the building and you say, oh, the building was this size, but it, but over time it grew. Uh, there were, in the 19, in the 19 teens, there were uh, lots of very innovative and clever expansions to early federal houses there. And I think if, if, if you and your architect look around, you can see some very interesting examples of how other people in the 1910 through 20 periods s solved the same problem. In other words, in that period, a lot of people were dedicated to do what just are you doing, build something in the whole spirit of the building, and but yet it was a new and perhaps had some interesting additional features on the addition itself. And so I think that gives you a nice, a nice opportunity to do that. And I think there are some there are some precedents that you might historical precedents that you might see in additions to federal buildings that might that you might find some inspirations to doing something that would be very much in keeping with the building and also enhance the whole center of the town. Okay. Thanks, Tommy. Happy? Do you have? Uh, oh, sorry. Just one question. Do you have? Uh, do you have any uh, uh, buildings in mind that, uh, <laughs> that you suggest that I can I got it. That's awful. Having said that statement, I'm really going to have to rack my brain and think. Well, if you think of something, I will. give me a call and let okay. me know yes. uh, so that I yes, can I see will. specifically uh, uh, what, what you're thinking about. Okay. Great. No, I think Tom put it beautifully. Um, it will be nice if it it doesn't appear that new. So you say, oh, look, they made an addition. We want to have it kind of hug the building and, and uh, be very 